What if your next PowerPoint slide looked more like a cinematic intro than a basic template? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you five genius ways to use video in PowerPoint to create professional level presentations. All the video assets I'm using are completely free and I've added the download links in the description. Now let's get started. Okay, so this one is really simple. We're going to start by pasting in our video. The video I'm using here is linked in the description, but feel free to use any other one you like. Next, insert a rectangle over the entire slide. Make sure it completely covers the video. Then fill the rectangle with a solid black color. Now insert your text. Change the font color to white so it stands out. The font I'm using is Impact and the size is 239. Go ahead and type in your text. Make sure your text is centered or adjust it however you prefer. Now hold Shift, select the black rectangle first, then the text. Go to Shape Format, select Merge Shapes, and choose Combine. Then, under Shape Outline, select No Outline. Now you'll see the video playing behind the text, basically like a stencil effect. Next, select the video and go to Playback. Set the video to loop until stopped and rewind after playing. This makes sure the video keeps playing continuously while you're on this slide. Now let's add some additional text. Insert a text box and type in your content. For this example, I'm using the font of body, size 40, with a pink color. Of course, you can customize this however you like. I'm also going to add some extra details like these white lines. How you want to style this slide is completely up to you. You can also add any additional content you like. I'm adding some text here at the bottom as well, just to complete the design. Once you're done, make sure to test everything. Play the slideshow and confirm the video plays smoothly. One last thing, go back to playback and set the background video to start automatically. This way, the effect will play as soon as the slide appears, without you having to click on anything. And that's it. You can try this effect in a bunch of different styles and experiment with different video backgrounds. It doesn't have to look exactly like this. Make it your own. This slide design involves intersecting text with a shape and then overlaying it over the video. I got this video from Canva. Okay, so start by inserting a text box and adding in your text. Here I'm just going to duplicate the text box and type in the rest of the title. You can go on to the next line in the same text box too. I just wanted to do it like this for the text spacing. Make sure everything is aligned just as you want it because once we merge the text, there's no changing it. Next, go to Shapes and insert a rectangle. Have it cover around half the slide like this. Now right click and send both the shape and the video to the back and have the text appear on top like this. Then hold shift, select both text boxes first and then the rectangle behind. Go to shape format and in merge shapes, pick combine. Now just add your body text. I'm just pasting mine in. Then hold shift, select both the text box and the shape and group them by hitting Control G. Now go to Animations and select Fly In. Set the direction to from left, then head over to the Animation pane and adjust your settings. I'm increasing the duration and changing the effects Smooth End settings.
Next, have both the video and the grouped shape start with previous. Then increase the delay to your liking. And that's it. Play around with the arrangement and get as creative as you want. Before we move on, here's a quick note about the Merge Shapes feature when working with videos in PowerPoint. Okay, so in this section, we're going to be intersecting the video directly with a shape. You may not be able to find Merge Shapes under the Format Shape tab in this case, so here's what you'll do. Click on File, go to More, and select Options. Then under Quick Access Toolbar, switch to All Commands and find the Merge Shapes option. Just add it to your Quick Access Toolbar. Now you should be able to see it on your toolbar, ready to use. Okay, now back to the tutorial. Start by adding your video. Next, go to Shapes and add a circle. Hold Shift while dragging to resize the shape evenly from all sides. Then just duplicate it and add a few more. Resize and space them apart however you want. You don't even have to use circles for this. You can use any shape you want. Okay, so once you're done, hold Shift and select every circle. Then go to Merge Shapes and select Union. Now I'll show you how to cut the sides off. Simply insert a rectangle and draw it like this over the extra circle parts. Do this for all three sides. Hold Shift, select all three rectangles, then go to Merge Shapes and select Union. Next, select the circles, then select the rectangles we just merged together. Go back to Merge Shapes and this time select Subtract. Next, we're going to hold Shift, select the video first, and then the circles. Then go to Merge Shapes and select Intersect. Now just format the background color to whatever you want. Then just add your text. Now all that's left is to adjust the video playback settings. Just click on the video, go to playback, and switch to start automatically. And you're done. You can try this effect in a bunch of different shapes and styles, so you can use it in just about any presentation. I'm going to show you how you can use a video as a video frame and combine it with other images and text. So first, I'm going to start by pasting in my video. A sharp background works really well for this effect. Now, I'm going to go to Shapes and insert a rounded rectangle. Make it as big as you want and just round out the edges a little, like this. I'm also going to duplicate the shape because I'm going to use it to crop the image I'll be adding later. Now hold Shift, select the video first, then the shape, go to Merge Shapes and select Intersect. And there you go. Now we have our video frame. Next, I'm going to insert a PNG image. Here's the one I'm using. I'm just going to size it down like this. I want it to sit somewhere around here. This looks perfect. Now hold Shift, select the image first, then the duplicate shape we made earlier, and go to Merge Shapes, then select Intersect again. Now we have the cropped image ready. I'm just going to place it right here like this. After that, I'm going to change the color by going to Picture Format and setting the color to gray. There we go. As an extra detail, I'm also going to insert a logo. I'm using a white PNG here. Of course, you can add any other elements you want. This is just an example. Now, I'm going to change the background color to something that matches the overall style. After that, I'll align everything neatly. Finally, I'm just going to paste in my text like this. And one last thing, 
Make sure you go to Video Playback and set it to start automatically. Then select Loop until stopped and rewind after playing. And that's it. Video backgrounds are seriously underrated, and there are hundreds of ways you can style your presentations based on the videos you find. Okay, now for this trick, I'm going to be using this video right here. What we're going to do is paste some text on top, and that's what's going to create the effect of the video playing inside the text. First, I'm going to position the video properly. I'll select it and crop it down just a little bit to the size I want. I want it to be a bit larger, positioned right about here. That looks perfect. I'll also make sure it's completely centered, just like this. Now for this particular video, we want the slide background to match the video's background color. So I'm going to right click, go to Format Background, select Gradient Fill, and then switch the type to Radial. For the direction, I'll choose from Center. Now for the leftmost gradient stop, I'm going to use the eyedropper tool to pick the inside color of the video. And for the outer gradient stop, I'll use the eyedropper again to pick the outermost color of the video. Now just stretch the gradient until it blends perfectly with the video, like this. All right, next, I'm going to insert the text. I'll go to Insert Text Box and draw it over the slide. For this, I'm using the Font Impact, size 170, colored white, and I'll center align it, just like that. I'll also arrange it so that it's perfectly centered on the slide. Now I'm gonna quickly duplicate this slide. On the first slide, I'll select the video first, then the text, holding shift, and then go to Merge Shapes and select Intersect. You'll see the video now plays inside the text. Next, I'm going to add an outline to the text I'll go to Shape Outline, set the weight to 2.5 points, and change the color to white. Now I'm going to copy this shape with Ctrl-C, go to the second slide, delete the old shape, and paste the new one right on top. Next, open the Animation pane, and make sure both animations start with Previous. Finally, for video playback settings, select the video, go to playback, and set it to start automatically. Loop until stopped and rewind after playing. Do the same for the second video. Start automatically, loop until stopped, and rewind after playing. And that's it. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want more awesome PowerPoint slide designs, check out my other videos and consider supporting the channel by hitting that subscribe button. See you in the next one.